Hello everyone and welcome to the Irish Cycling Show with Verb Sports. My name is John Dempsey. And my name is Keith Colville. How are we this morning, Keith? Good. Yeah, good Actually, good. surprisingly, well, surprising, uh, yeah, yeah. I still have a cough that seems like I'm smoking 20 major from 1972. <laughs> but we're actually doing okay because I didn't race this weekend. You so. didn't. I know, and the racing scene was much the poorer for it. It was. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Anyhow, speaking of racing and in pro news, we, the Irish Cycling Professional Year, got off to a great win, win start, uh, with Sam Bennett winning the first date of the Vuelta a San Juan in Argentina. He said he was going to win this year, and... First race, first win. Well done. Feet yeah. up now for the rest of the season. Absolutely, Sam. Do a bit of mountain biking at home. Yeah. Be grand. Be grand. <laughs> but I think John was saying earlier, there was some sketchy, sketchy uh, racing and yeah, fans. Yeah. And it looked really, really You wouldn't dodgy. see a run in it like it in the cork, uh, in the cork <laughs> man. Like, <it> was <laughs> dodgy.com. Like, you know, I know people standing in the middle of the road. Anyway, see you Sam. Well done, Sam. Fair yep. play. Many more now, please. Yes, fair and play, Sam. And also, our female women were racing the track in Portugal. They were racing the track in Portugal and got some good results. Um, Ora Walsh. Um, the 500 meter TT got bronze, which is quite class because that's all power. Mm. Uh, Lara Gillespie fourth in the Omnium uh, and a sharp top five in the scratch race. Okay. So class from all of them. Well done. And yeah. also our females, Mia Griffin started her world tour career down the tour down under in Australia. Had a very good finish in it, rode really well. She did. Every photograph she's smiling in it, so obviously she's having a laugh. She's not trying hard enough. Come on, Mia, pull a finger out. God almighty. But yeah, great start for it. Fantastic. Yeah, and I hear there was a big junkish gone on uh, at the weekend as well. Yeah, jolly. Uh, Jolly. Um, a jolly to the sun, there's some people who just always do it and it yeah. always happens to be yeah. Paul Birchall. Paul Birchall, Barry Monaghan. I heard they just wanted a sun holiday yeah. and they coincided with the World Cup side race. Nothing got to do with the Sport Riders. No money left, right and uh, centre. Like, Benny know. Dorm. Benny Dorm. <laughs> Benny Dorm for cyclocross. And it, anyhow. It was wonderful. It was. Uh, we had great results from our yeah. under 23, Dean Harvey, our new national champion, was 19th. Yeah. Which was very good. Which and absolutely class. Also in the juniors, Joseph Mullen had a nasty crash. Your favourite. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit of bad luck. Um, and I wouldn't like to come down that track because no. it was so... It wasn't oh, bouncy and soft so like air courses. No, 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 no. Yeah. It was ouchy and scrapey. Ouchy. So Joseph was 38 and Travis Hartness was not far behind 37. Too. Yeah, Anya Doherty. Um, again, being doing what Anya does, she's class. Uh, she was 19th, which I think mm. is a very good result. Absolutely. You know. uh, 19th and Hannah McClory, second. In the national championships last week was 23rd in the junior race, so great to see our juniors and yes. other countries getting that exposure to and being on media and, and people posting about them and all those sort of things. It's fantastic, yeah. Well done to you all, yeah. and I hope Paul you didn't get too sunburned. <laughs> Um, a couple of weeks ago we ran a competition and last week we forgot to do it because you know we the national championships going on with lots of stuff so we had five winners yes. not of five items each as you implied no so we they get one item they of get a couple of items we'll see yeah. yes Anyhow, and the winners were Michael Collins yes. Michelle Whelan Damien Dono this is a YouTube name now yeah. uh, Family Martin which is also a YouTube name I yeah. hope or it's a very weird first name and James Maddock so your five winners will be in touch and you'll get a goodie bag of different Stuff. Babes and bobs that. Yeah, so well done to you all. Thanks for liking and subscribing as well, all those people. And anyone else that's watching that hasn't liked or subscribed, do it. Go on. Thanks very much. Up north, our friends from East Antrim Cycling Club hosted the Ride for Raymond, a fundraiser for the air ambulance service up there. Uh, poor Raymond Beers was involved in an accident in 2021 and the air ambulance swooped to the rescue for him and the members wanted to say thanks and Raymond. So they held a fundraiser up there. So all racing was... all. Proceeds were donated to it. There was a raffle held as well. We were delighted to donate a, a Verge jacket for it. And Adrian Coates was the lucky man who won it. So won that, yeah. So, um, yeah, great days of racing. Um, a lot of familiar names, a lot of familiar clubs. And, um, yeah, under 10 girls, we had Eva Campbell from Square Wheels and her compact patriot, is that what would you say? From, the the like, yeah. uh, from Square Wheels and under 12, under 10 boys was Jack McGann. Well done, Jack. Yeah. In the under 12 girls, Ava Baker from Breffney Wheelers uh, broke the Square Wheelers dominance by getting the win from Sky Spence. And in the under 12 boys, back to Square Wheelers, and Ewan Campbell got the win from Keelan Doherty of File and Sean Herbin of Kinning Cycles. Yes, the uh, Heron family uh, coming up again then. Uh, now with the under 14s and of course Emer um, rocking home ahead of Eva Craig of VC Glendale and Poppy Hamilton of TC Racing. 
Yeah, Darrett Murphy from Australia got the win. Another 14 boys from Car Corin McCourt and Niall McHale from Square Wheelers again. Would he be a Connor Younger brother? He could well be a Connor Younger brother. That's a guess. We'll yes. Anyway, yeah. under 16 girls. Um, she showed off her national jersey for the first time. So we had Aaliyah Rafferty ahead of Rhiannon Dolan and Cara Suckling. That was the one, two, three there. Yeah, absolutely. And under 16 boys, uh, Elias McKeegan, McKeegan got the win from Carl Rocket. What an excellent surname, Rocket. Best oh name God. so far. I thought the McCools were good. <laughs> Rocket. Brilliant. Oh, absolutely love that. She's a great race. Uh, yeah. like, you know? uh, things don't change. Uh, Stephanie Roach is winning again. And um, she did, yeah. She took the elite women ahead of Wendy McKeegan. Yeah, and in the Lee, uh, Lee Harvey got the win in the Elite Men, from which I thought was a misprint of Connor Murphy in second place, our under 16 national champion. Yeah. But he obviously like rode the Elite race and finished second ahead of Curtis McGee. So yeah. well done. Um, so, yeah, yeah, all good. Um, great race and some great picks of lads getting a lot of air, yeah. which is good at uh, lunatics. So, um, yeah. And a bit good. of a bizarre one at the start as well, people with bikes in their shoulders and hey, don't really understand what's happening. I don't really here. understand that because there's, there's uh, three under 14 girls carrying a tiny bike. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. kind of going, hmm. But anyway, they're all smiling, so. But that's the main thing. Well Happy done to you all. Days. Lots of money raised there, so well done for a great cause. Fair play to everyone that, uh, all the businesses that donated products and everyone that bought tickets, etc., etc. Well done to the Northern Ireland Cycling Cyclocross community. Down south, as Keith yes. likes to say, we had the final round of the Monster Cyclocross League, hosted by our friends in Dungarvan Cycling Club. There was, it was a great running race. It was a running race, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it was okay. It was a tough course um, to walk around and watch all these guys suffering. Yeah. Uh, it was a pleasure to do, I must admit. Uh, but it was a great day. Yeah, good day. Um, the weather, which always I has to be I knew it be a weather report. The weather is, was absolutely perfect because it was kind of mild and it wasn't too cold and it wasn't too rainy. Oh, it went down. Yeah. But it was still a bit rainy. It was a yeah. little bit rainy, yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, great, great day's race and great yeah. to wrap up the league. In the under-14 boys, Shane O'Brien from, from my got yeah. the win from Dahi. Killeen and Daryl O'Keefe. Yeah, yeah, Shane is absolutely class, isn't he? Um, yeah. Another one who's absolutely class um, is Katie Turner. Uh, she came down and rocked it um, from Orwell and she finished ahead of Orla Mulhorn from Pandal Carrick Wheelers and Isabel Gaffney from Dungarvan CC. Yes, uh, under 16 girls, Kate Murphy from Sleeve Lucra got the win from local uh, girl Amy Flavin in second and another local girl Sarah Gaffney in third place. Yep, and I can never tell the two of them apart. And even if I'm asking, I still can't uh, seem to uh, do it. But on to the under 16 boys, uh, we had David Gaffney again winning ahead of Hugh O'Connor Horn from Panto Carrick Wheelers and Fionn Killeen. Killeen. Kate Cullen, isn't he? Kate Cullen. Yeah. I was asking asking about the Killeen family. It yes. turns out there's 84 children. I <laughs> so I was getting confused during all the races and I actually asked, how many children are in this family? Five is the answer. God loves the parents, they'll be broke. They will, and they're lovely actually because we were kind of chatting to them, but yeah, their names are coming up. There's more and more and more of them coming. Uh, the B race, uh, there was a good field in the B race actually. Um, I maybe should have entered that one. Really? Should yeah, you? No, yeah, you've been on for top 10, would you? Absolutely happy stand on me wellies. <laughs> uh, Jacob, uh, I'm going to absolutely mangle this name, unfortunately. So Jacob uh, Waisaki won, um, won well, uh, ahead of Enda Donnelly. Well done to the two, yeah. Buckley. Uh, in the senior women race, uh, Grace Young continued her great season. She got the win from Doreen, Doreen, Killeen. Dieran Killeen, even yeah. another Killeen, um, and, Sally. and Sally Drennan in third place from Middleton. Yeah, congratulations to all of them. Uh, uh, that was a pretty much a class race. Uh, now, then, on to the big hitters. And, um, yeah, it was a good race. It was a really you good race. You were in the mix. I was in the mix at the back. Yeah, I was in the mix for, like, getting lapped very early. And it, it, it was an absolute belter. From where watch. I was sitting, I ate back to the field. I was able to watch lots of the racing. And, uh, uh, what's it, Ty Killeen? Ty no, Killeen took off like a rocket. Went off like an absolute bat out of hell. He can run really quick. He's got great bike skills. Yeah. And he's got power. Um, he may not have... <laughs> That's an awful thing to say. I cop on to realise that it's five laps rather than two laps. No, he's right. Go full gas to blow your lights. Only way That's for like something I did. Uh, So himself and Richie, uh, the Richie of the Barrys, uh, both took off like lunatics. Yeah, but Tyke had a nice gap on Richie Barry and Richie Mays. Yeah. And then blew his lights a little bit. Mm -hmm. bit. But Richie Mays turned in a fantastic lap, but three or four laps in. He went from like 30 seconds down to 20 seconds in the lead. Uh, held on to the finish. He bet Richie Barry into yeah. second place and Tyg was in third place. Great to see a young junior rider up there mixing it with the older boys. Yeah, we're kind of slagging, but he's class. 
Yeah, no, it's really, really, really good. Great to see these young lads coming through. Yeah. Uh, Joseph Dunworth was a third kind of senior rider from Limerick. Uh, Tyg was the first junior rider. Well, yeah. William O'Connor uh, was in second place in the junior race, and Ryan McCarthy right. yeah. was in third place yeah. in the junior race. A tough, tough, tough race. Uh, the M40 saw John Phelan. Um, and the M50 saw the bell Trevor Woods. Trevor Woods. And then, because Paul was off sunning himself, and the M60. Yeah, me all Corkery now, the M60s are class riders, they're top class individuals, <laughs> they're real elite riders. Mihal was, uh, you know, uh, I have some M60 footage of, winner. Of, of Mihal actually, I think actually catching John. <laughs> and passing me. <laughs> and passing him. <laughs> no, I'll tell you back, everything I say about the M60s checking into our life, they are quality uh, athletes. Like, yes. well done, Mihal. Absolutely top notch. And that then brings us on to the actual winners of the Monster League. Yeah, so that was the final round of yeah. the league. So lots of mats to break out after the finish. Don't was, I think I was. Anyone. <laughs> uh, to, so the winners were, in the under 14, Katie Turner from Orwell got the win. And in under 14 boys, Shane O'Brien from Fermi was yeah, the winner. Well deserved for both of them. Uh, under 16 girls, you had Kate Murphy, again, class season from her. And uh, David Gaffney got, uh, got it in the boys. So no surprises there. No. Uh, uh, yeah. William O'Connor won yeah. a very competitive junior category uh, great to see good crop of junior riders yeah. there and uh, he got the win yeah uh, then of course no surprises that Grace Young uh, won the women yeah um, and then uh, there was a little bit of to and fro with regards to the men wasn't there there was a couple of legal counsels uh, brought in <laughs> senior counsels brought in to determine the uh, men's senior race turned out Richie Mays Richie Barry had the exact same points mm -hmm. so it was a bit of a tiebreaker I suggested that the two might go out and do one more lap <laughs> but, I know, but that was rejected uh, Richie Mays got the overall win because Richie had won two races and Richie Barry had only won one, only won one race yeah. so Richie literally won it on a tiebreaker so well done to both Richies for yeah, Betty exactly yeah and uh, well done also to um, show favourite Mark Flavin. Yeah. <laughs> My brain just went blank there all of a sudden. What's no surprise there. The yeah, Mark Flavin, uh, um, who yeah was healed and everything is good and yeah. had a great season actually. Yeah, well, now, this is a bit controversial. Like, Mark Flavin is out of commission at the moment. He's injured. He's, but he has yes. four wins in the bag already in two yeah. second places. Mark Pinfield, if he showed up yesterday and won the race, would have had exact same results in Mark, same oh, wow. wins, same seconds. I was very surprised Mark didn't show up, Mark Pinfield. I am one, not one ruling out the fact that Mark Pinfield could be locked in an eye for Williams trailer down there. I'm not saying Mark Lavin locked him in the trailer. I'm also not saying he didn't lock him in the trailer. So Mark Lavin turned out to be a winner. Uh, so I hope Mark Pinfield is free and enjoying his liberty. Yeah. So anyhow, but well done to Mark. He got the win in He's the class. league there. Yeah. Uh, Trevor Woods was the winner of the M50 category. As I say, for the elite. M60 Calgary, Mihal Corkery. Mihal Corkery deserved the win there as well because um, yeah, when you take holidays and miss races, you can't. Um, yeah, yeah that's, that's and fair happens. play to Mihal. Mihal uh, not only designed <laughs> and made the trophies for the league, lovely uh, oh, wooden structures. Ones. Yeah, so Mihal oh, nice. actually made all those for played. Fair play to Mihal. We're very much appreciative of that. Yeah, that's that's class. So that's like that's the cycle across the league. Dawn and Monster. <sighs> It's it's actually gone by very 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 quickly. I think we've been very lucky uh, to witness some amazing racing. Mm. I think it has been an incredible it has, yeah, season. Yeah, it's been a very good season. Uh, it's been nice. Young riders to come up through. Yeah. You know, the likes of Sam Bulger winning races. Great to see not the normal winning. Liam O'Brien obviously has dominated as well when he's showing up. Like, so yeah, it's yeah, great. But, 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 it's, but it's been enjoyable. And you got two top tens. And I got two top tens. Yes. Story. So, and there uh, was there no trophy for you yesterday? No. <laughs> <laughs> I was really disappointed. Oh my God, it's shocking. So, like, so but, anyhow, what have we coming up, Keith? We actually have plenty of racing coming up, which is uh, nice. Uh, so um, in the Crystals, we have the Sean Sharkey Memorial. So we're all well familiar with that track yeah. now. So that's so, the last cyclocross race of the season, I think. Yeah, it, it would be. Um, that's coming up uh, this weekend. Then um, we start getting into the interesting stuff. Uh, there's lots of off-road stuff coming up um, throughout the year. Yeah. Um, one particular one that's starting every Saturday in February, hosted by Galway Bay CC, it's the Bog Trails. Uh, there's been a league held on this before, I think, last year. They do their own fun. league as well. Yeah. Uh, it's a 3K circuit. It's um, paved and unpaved. You can use a mountain bike, a cross bike, and there's an A and B race. And uh, it sounds incredible. Yeah. So basically, uh, get on to Galway Bay CC site. Uh, they have all the details there every Saturday in February and go race your gravel bike. And I think entries are limited to 30 in each race, so get yeah. in early people. Yeah, exactly. Also, the 13th edition of the Biking Blitz will be kicking off on the 12th of February. Mm. 
up in Banastow. Ban yeah, exactly. So yeah. Uh, great, that event, there's seven events in the league this year, so keep an eye out for that as well and get your er entries in as early as you can. Yeah, there's loads going on in mountain biking. Uh, there's loads going on full stop. Uh, well, there's not loads of bits going on, like, you know. Well, then the road race and then road all those sorts of things. Away, I suppose, like, a month yeah. away, yeah. But, so, um, are we going to be back next week? What do we have to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> are you going to have to do some proper work? <laughs> I may actually have to start working. Well, wow, <laughs> that'll be great. <laughs> So we will see, we... We may be back next week, we may not, we but may uh, not. stay tuned, like and subscribe. Uh, we also have a bike uh, video coming up from the Dungarvan race. Yes. Uh, it mostly focuses on the underage riders. Mm. Some older lads crept in there as well, like, you know. So that'll be coming out this Wednesday or Thursday, so keep an eye out for that, please. I think for sure we're going to maybe report from the um, Galway Bay bog trails from one of the races. So um, other than that, we'll keep it secret. Absolute top secret, yeah, yeah. they do. Because <laughs> we know what's going to happen, like, you know. We're making it up as we go along. Anyhow, we'll see you when we see you. All the best. Bye. Thank you. Bye.